Is it something the Department of Labor can be doing to encourage people to hire teenagers? Yeah, well, absolutely. Two things. First, in his fiscal 2014 budget, President Obama has proposed $2.5 billion for summer jobs for youth, particularly disadvantaged youth, and for year-round jobs for disadvantaged youth. So pushing on that budget proposal is very important to make exactly the point that you're making, Joe, that these young people need to get to work. We don't want to have a bunch of uh, unemployed young folks over a summer. It just puts uh, their futures at risk, and they miss out on the opportunity to learn how to be in the workplace. We are also working with mayors around the country right now to get their local employers and also to get national employers involved in hiring young people this summer so that they can get the work experience they need. There's a lot of evidence that shows when kids work over a summer, they're more likely to stay in school. They are more likely to end up employed after they leave school. So that's a part of our strategy. It's Youth Summer Jobs Plus. It's an effort being led out of the White House that we're deeply involved in. All right. Now, you, you say that's been budgeted. Has the budget been approved, or does it need congressional approval? It needs congressional approval, and this is part of the larger struggle that we're having in Washington wow. right now, where President Obama is trying to find partners on the other side of the aisle who right. will sit down and negotiate a fiscal deal and a long-term deficit reduction deal. We need to invest in just these kinds of programs, youth summer jobs, right. investments in community colleges, job training opportunities for young people and for adult workers who've lost their jobs. Um, but the president is f- trying. He's trying to find a caucus of common sense on Capitol Hill that he can mm-hmm. cut a deal with and move our economy forward. 